Hey there, welcome back to What's Your Take. I'm Wyatt Spalling, and today we're going to talk about my favorite time of year, March Madness. It's better than the NBA Finals, Super Bowl, uh, color football playoffs. It's the best time of year because there's so many games and every game matters. It's awesome. I probably feel that like 12 or more brackets today. Already, and it's only Tuesday. So, I don't like to just fill out one bracket. I like to fill out several, because anything can happen in March. But probably my favorite is, I got Kentucky winning it all, with the Final Four, Gonzaga, Kentucky, Auburn, and Tennessee. Yes, three SEC teams. I know the Big Ten got the most teams in with nine. But I really believe that there could be three SEC teams in the Final Four this year. If you had to pick a conference to have the most teams in it. So Kentucky, they got the best, the player of the year, and Oscar Sheboy. And then Tennessee, they're just all around the team. They got good shooters. They won the SEC conference, and they can prove they are a really good team when they want to be. Sometimes they're inconsistent this year, but... I think they could keep this run going like they did in the SEC tournament. And Auburn, I mean, they were picked to, they were picked number one. They were number one for like three weeks. And they showed why they were the best team in the country. First time ever, they were ranked number one in their program history for basketball. And they got the best player for the NBA draft on their team, Jabari Smith. And I just think, like, at the end of the season, maybe Jabari Smith tried to do too much or they just weren't all playing together. And I really thought they'd be a one seed. But I think now they've got they've regrouped and they'll come back in the tournament and make it to the Final Four. My other bracket, which I think would be good, and this is probably my number one bracket if I had to put any money on it, um, who I would think would really make the Final Four. Gonzaga would play Purdue, and Villanova would play Auburn in the Final Four. Now, Gonzaga are the best team all year. They've been number one. Pretty number one the most all year. And they got Drew Chimmy back, and Newman's back at point guard, and they got they had a top recruit come in this year. So, yeah, they're good, but the question with Gonzaga is, can they beat the best teams? And I know they play really good teams at the beginning of the season, but they did lose two of them this year. And I don't think they're as good as... They're still really good, but I don't think they're near as good as last year. <clears throat> Purdue. I think Purdue could make the Final Four if they just play some freaking defense. They have really good shooters and good scorers on their team. But they just don't play defense sometimes. And that's why like teams like Rutgers beat them this year. Come on, guys. And Villanova, I think they're just... They can make the Final Four because they're Villanova. And they got Jay Wright. When you got Jay Wright as your coach, you always got a chance to make the Final Four. They won the Big East Tournament. Was number two. Finished second in the Big East behind Providence. And they could just... I really think they could make the Final Four again. They've been kind of a powerhouse since 2016. And they've always been a well-known basketball school. And I could definitely see them in the Final Four. And then, like I said, Auburn... Barry Smith and them. And I have Auburn actually winning this one. Yes, another SEC team. I just think people look, didn't really look at the SEC this year and see how good they really were the, as a whole conference. I got Gonzaga and Auburn. And I know Gonzaga is the right, the safe pick. It's the most pick that, it's the pick that everyone's making for Gonzaga to win. But you know what? That's no fun. It's no fun. Okay? It's fun to pick a team that no one... Is really picking, or some people are picking them every now and then from the, their bracket to win, but it's not, never fun to pick the favorites every single time you fill out the bracket. So I'm going on, on my gut, and I believe in Auburn. I think Auburn could beat Gonzaga in the finals, and they win 90 to 87. Auburn wins 90 to 87. Now, some games to look out for. Ohio State will oil Chicago. A 
t- seven and a ten seed. Loyola Chicago is gonna win this game, I think. I believe that Loyola Chicago will win this game and beat Ohio State because Loyola Chicago has proved that they can do well in the tournament. They can make it from anywhere from the Sweet Sixteen to the Final Four. The Final Four. And I think they'll do it again. They're upset. Maybe a team or two, maybe three teams this year in the tournament. I don't think they'll make the Final Four. But I I could see them upsetting several teams, including Ohio State. And Ohio State's going to be nervous because they got upset last year. So I don't want that to happen again. And this is like the worst team to go up against in the March Madness in the first round. Well, in Chicago, who's known for upsetting teams. And UAB, let's see, um, UAB plays Houston. I got UAB winning this game because Houston doesn't play anybody in their conference. And UAB had a, had a guard score like 40 in their conference tournament in the semifinals and like a triple overtime. And I think it'll be fun to watch him and I could see him going off and carrying UAB to a win over Houston. Illinois, I think Illinois could go far. The biggest test they would have is in the in the Sweet 16. They'd have to face Arizona, which would be tough, tough. But I think they could do it. Illinois isn't as good as last year. Like people picked them to go to the Final Four last year. I'm pretty sure they're like a one seed or a two seed, something like that. And now they're a four seed, but they still got Kobe Coburn and some of the other guards from last year. And when they're on, they're pretty good. I mean, they were like the number one seed in the Big Ten. They won the Big Ten regular season. But I could see them. Whew, I could see them going far. But in this bracket, I have Arizona beating them. So it's going to be tough. The farthest I put out, Illinois was like probably Elite Eight. And Boise State, some 8 9 matchups. Boise State, Memphis. That should be a good one. Boise State won the regular season and the tournament for the Mountain West. And they got good teams. Wyoming's in it. Boise State and uh, San Diego State is in it. So several. Uh, and Colorado State. So four teams from the Mountain West made the tournament this year, which really doesn't happen. So you know it's a strong conference for them when they get four teams in the tournament. Vermont and Arkansas. Look out for that one. You know, Vermont... They're, they've always been a decent team. And uh, experts are saying, like on ESPN, like Vermont could beat Arkansas. They struggled last year in the first round at beating a team. So that's a big upset that could happen. Um, Davidson and Michigan State. Davidson's got some really good shooters. Michigan State, they always seem to like be an average good team in the regular season. And then they all of a sudden, you look up and they make the Final Four. So you never know what Michigan State's going to do. But I got Davidson winning this game. I think they'll upset Michigan State in the first round. And Duke plays uh, Cal State Fullerton. And Fullerton's pretty good. I watched them in their conference championship game. And they got some shooters and some quick guards. And the big thing about Duke every year that is a disadvantage for them is that they are all freshmen. And then the pressure of everyone saying, oh, it's Coach K's last tournament. It's Coach K's last time. You know, can they hold up to the pressure of winning it all for him? Coach K was the last one to win it with the one-and-done era. And it's only been done like twice with one-and-done freshmen. But we had all one-and-done freshmen with Coach K in 2015 and then Calipari with Kentucky in 2012. But veterans are what's going to win you this tournament, I think. And Duke's going to struggle. I picked Duke to win this round. One of my brackets, I picked him to get upset in the first round, but I really hope that doesn't happen. Because if they win, they got to play Davidson or Michigan State, so that's going to be tough either way, whoever wins that game. Then they'd have to play like Alabama, which they're really good at threes. And if they're hitting, then... They're kind of doomed, I think. And then Texas Tech. Their coach is known for defense, so that would be a tough one, too. And then once they get the Elite Eight, they got to play Gonzaga. So we'll see. 
how it goes for Duke. I got him making, I, I don't want to even one of my brackets, but I got him getting out either in the Sweet 16 or the Elite 8. Probably Elite 8 against Gonzaga, I'm thinking. And Baylor, they're a pretty good team. I think Purdue could upset Baylor for sure. Like I said, I had my final four for this one, one of my brackets. And I think Baylor is the weakest number one seed. They had some injuries and they weren't doing so good for a while, like in January. But then they bounced back, uh, their players came back. But can they repeat? That's going to be the big thing about Baylor is can they repeat and go back to back? That would be kind of nice for them. Win it again. And this time there's a bunch of fans in the stands. That would be cool for them. Um, I mean, I could just go on and on. Like, Wisconsin, Wisconsin could make a run, too. They almost won the Big Ten regular season after Nebraska beat them. But, they, you know, I don't know. There's just a bunch of teams that could really come up. We got Wisconsin, Arizona. People are picking Arizona to win. And I'm just not seeing Arizona winning. I got them in my Final Four. But I don't know, I just don't really see them winning at all. Iowa, they got some of the one of the best scorers in the league in the in the the Korean in the twins. And the Korean yeah, Korean twins. Or Keegan, that's it. The Keegan twins. And yeah, man, there's just so many possibilities here, guys. So many. And that's what makes March Madness great. Is you don't know who's going to win. And what's going to happen. So stay tuned. It's going to be great. I'll have those shows here and there about the games. Uh, throughout the tournament. Probably on Mondays when the games are over on the weekend. But it's going to be awesome man. Just the best. Can't wait. Tune in for March Madness. The best time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. March Madness man. Let's go.